Hi, I'm Dr. Sean McWilliams, and I am the neuropathy specialist here at CRU. And one of the most common questions that our patients ask us is, what exactly is a neuropathy exam? So I'd like to just show you briefly for a minute the extensiveness of the testing that we do. So we always start with obviously a very in-depth consultation with our patients, um, making sure we fully understand what's bothering them, what they're suffering with, how it's affecting their quality of life, the quality of life that they have lost, the things that they wanna do in their life and feel like maybe they can never do again because of just the pain and or numbness and tingling they're suffering with. The next step after we do that is we do a thermographic picture of their feet. So I'd like to show you that for a minute. And so this is what it looks like. And so we are able to use a very high-end specific thermographic camera to take a visual picture of your feet or hands, depending on the area that you're suffering with. And one of the beautiful part about this is, is that this allows us to see temperature and temperature typically is gonna to relate to blood supply. So the brighter the color, the more blood flow, the darker the color, the less blood flow. So you can see with one of our patients um, here, uh, in this part of her foot, she's got pretty good adequate blood supply, but you can totally see this difference on how she's going to these dark pinks and purples. So when we see this or any degree of this whatsoever, typically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do what's called a Toronto exam. And a Toronto exam is the gold standard test really for neuropathy. And it involves a few tools. So one of the things that we do is we check the ability. There's mainly three nerves in the human body that we wanna test going down into the legs and feet. And we're gonna check your ability to feel vibration. It's a very simple tool. We use a tuning fork like this, it vibrates, and we see if you can feel that adequately. Other things that we do is we check for reflexes. Reflexes tell us about how nerve signals travel from a part of your body up into your spinal cord and then go back down to a part of your body and we monitor how well that circuit works for you. Other things that we do is we check you and see if you can feel light touch. So almost like a piece of human hair, we wanna see if you can feel that. And you'd be surprised, a lot of people start losing the sensations and they don't even know that it's happening until we test them. Um, other things we do is we have the ability to see if like, if you were to step on a thumbtack, for instance, some people can't feel that, which is, which is really sad because obviously it can damage their feet. So we check the ability to see if you can feel that very light touch. One of the things I think that really makes us special is that we also wanna look on how your body's functioning from the inside out. So checking your pH, and pH is the balance of our body's acidity or alkalinity, and we wanna be at least in the neutral. If the body gets too acidic, it typically becomes much more inflamed inside. We reduce oxygenation to nerves and unfortunately nerves can die as a result. So one of the things we're gonna do for you is we're gonna check your pH and see where you're at. And the other thing that we also do that I think really sets us apart as well is we check your nitric oxide level. Nitric oxide, very simply, is a chemical that our arteries make inside. And what it does when it's functioning and our bodies are making it adequately is it allows our blood vessels to expand and become bigger, like a big hose. What's the benefit for you with that? The more blood flow we can get to your feet or your hands, where you might be having neuropathy, the better your nerves are gonna be able to heal themselves. And so we have a test that we can do just with your saliva to check what your levels are. And what we look for is we look at this scan right here. Um, we can see if you are totally depleted, if you're low, or if you have adequate amounts. And then at this point, once we have these data points for you, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna spend an hour looking over all your examination findings, we're gonna set you up for a report of findings, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what we need to get you well again. So thank you for your time. I hope this helps you have a little bit of an idea of when you come to see us, what we're gonna do for you, and how we get answers for our patients. I look forward to seeing you soon.